I recently spoke to legendary GS Pro golf course designer Tech Bud and after the interview and all the serious stuff, I wanted to get to know him a bit better. I'll take that. We'll start off nice and easy. Um, how long have you been into sim golf? How long have you played sim golf? Yeah, seven or eight years. Do you have a golf handicap? Yeah, a a after this past weekend where I played miserably, or this past week away where I played miserably, it's up to uh, four, like 4.1 or something. Yeah, I was a scratch, well, um, but that was a long time ago. Before you started developing golf courses. And before I had you know, kids and wives and houses and <laughs> things like that. <laughs> to figure out where your handicap is today, you take your lowest handicap you've ever had and you add one for any mortgage that's current, you add one for any kid and you add one for any wife, including the ex-wife. And that's about where you're <laughs> going to end up. <laughs> so I think I'm doing yeah, pretty that's, good. That's a scientifically proven formula right there. That's right, absolutely. That. Right, what launch monitor do you use in your sim setup, Brent? GC2 with HMT. Do you prefer practice or course play? Uh, probably practice. I've always been that way. I mean, I still use the basic driving range like a ton. I know people are like, why do you use that? I, I just, I don't know. <laughs> I just, I've always used, I'm just a, I'm a range rat for sure. Let's get a bit more juicy then. Um, can you name for us your three favorite courses on GS Pro that you built? Yeah, Georgia Golf Club. Uh, obviously would be number one. Um, Cabot Cliffs, number two, and probably the Pete Dye West Virginia course, number three. And that, that one's behind Patreon. I'd like to update yeah. that. Uh, Parker Golf Club and Whistling Straits and about 19 others would be right there as well. It's really, they're like children. It's hard to really like pick one. Does it get, this is away from the quick fire questions. Do you get negative reviews? Uh, yeah, no, like the first, uh, well, Georgia Golf Club I did, I got some negative reviews. I try to use them as, as uh, constructive criticism for the most part. Generally, if someone is saying something is wrong, then probably is something off that I just didn't catch or notice or see. I, people didn't like the music on the front end of Georgia Golf Club last year, right? They didn't like <laughs> Jim Nance. And then other people loved it. You know, some people yeah. like the chirping birds. Some people hate the chirping birds, like... You know, there's always there's, there's always stuff like that. Does it frustrate you that? Does it annoy you a little bit, or you just brush it off? Uh, I th I'd say I'd probably brush it off better now than I I have. Yeah. I, th I think the one thing that I have trouble with is people have like an expectation that all these golf courses that are being built by people are like their right to have, mm. and like it's really not. Like if I I could build a course and I could just use it myself, like I don't have to release it to anyone. Um, you know, the courses are, they're, they're, they're freely built by the community, but that doesn't mean that they don't take a lot of time. And for someone who puts in a lot of effort, uh, and time and is making a living off of this, you know, it, it, it would be nice for people to realize that, you know, th there's more to it than just this free time. What are your three favorite courses on GS Pro that somebody else has built? I have the feeling the win is going to be on there, but I haven't played it. I just saw screenshots. Um, you know, it's really hard to beat uh, Home of the Players, although that's now been taken down. So that's tough. Um, I heard Scottsdale got replaced with a Phoenix course. Uh, so I guess I'll jump on that one. Uh, with, uh, my buddy Steve, who built Whispering, pines that's i mean obviously he put a lot of effort into that and it's it's a beautiful golf course and there's a couple of like new up and coming guys that are building courses now um uh, uh quail hollow was really done you know extremely well um some of the courses that were made for the pga recently like bay hill and uh, a few others are really solid top of the rock solid so there's i mean there's a lot of courses out there that are I don't want to leave anybody out and make anybody mad. So hopefully I covered my bases pretty well. Oh, oh mate, wait, wait until my next question then. <laughs> you, you might feel bad after that one, but we'll come to that in a minute. Um, so w when you're playing a sim course that's not been designed by yourself, are you playing it and just enjoying playing, with, playing it? Or are you spotting things that could be better and thinking, oh, that's not quite right. That should be there. That should be there. 
How do you go about that? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's kind of hard not to, right? At least a little bit. But I will say that when I'm playing other people's courses, I think I do less of that than when I play my own courses. Yeah. yeah. When I play my own courses, they all make me mad because I'm always spotting stuff that should have been better um, or things that I could have missed. And I just, I don't, I don't love playing my own courses, to be honest, because my head's usually not on the golf. It's usually on the course itself. Yeah. Or, or the other side of it is I really know the course well, so I know where all the dead bodies are buried or where not to hit it. And so I tend <laughs> to hit it there. <laughs> like, George, as an example, Georgia Golf Club, I, I don't think I've really ever played, a, like, a very good round there, to be honest. And and I I, I love the course, but it just – beats me up and it's like yeah i always know like okay you can't hit it here and that's where i generally go <laughs> i guess it's like um if you're doing diy in your house like you, you'll always spot the bits that you didn't quite do right but then somebody that comes into your house they are, they don't spot it whatsoever so i guess that's like the golf course is you built that golf course you know where all the things are that could have been a little bit better but for somebody like me who's playing it it's perfection uh, completely, completely agree. <laughs> Who is the best golf course GS Pro designer apart from yourself? Uh, the original guys. You, you know, I mean, the guys that have been doing this for seven or eight, you know, nine, ten years, right? So, like, you know, anything that DP Roberts releases, anything that uh, Sting Stinger releases, anything that John Meyer releases, they've been they've been doing this so long, and they're going to be solid stuff. And then, you know, I, I hate to say this, but the guys that are spending like six months on a course, I mean, you know, generally those courses are going to come out really good. You know, our, our Dyer, C E Sim Golf, um, Rusty Dave, those guys are spending a lot of time on courses. Right. Who is your favorite golfer? Tiger. Do you prefer indoor or outdoor golf? Indoor by a landslide. Really? Yeah. In fact, I have considered becoming a 100% indoor golfer. No way. <laughs> Why yeah. is this? I don't know. Outdoor golf drives me mad. Um, I can't stand five-hour rounds anymore. Like, they just drive me insane. If golf was fast outside, I think I think it, would be, it wouldn't be a landslide, but it never is. Um, now, what I do enjoy, you know, I enjoy the trips, right? I enjoy getting out and playing somewhere new. But, yeah. like, you know, I don't really just love going and playing a local course really that much anymore. Drive for show or put for dough? Drive, 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 drive. <laughs> well, let's say there is um, a complete beginner who's wanting to get into the golf simulator world, maybe set up a, a sim in their own house. Um, what would be the one tip or the one piece of advice that you would give somebody who's just starting out? The one thing I would say don't buy a country club elite mat. I hate to say it. I'm sorry, country club elite, if you happen to watch this. Don't buy that mat because every single person that buys that mat ends up with elbow, shoulder, hand, or wrist issues. Every one of them. And it's it's like, it's so funny. You watch the guys on like the Facebook or whatever that post and they're like, Hey, I'm having some elbow problems now, and I've never had elbow problems before, but now that I'm playing so much indoor golf, I'm having elbow problems. And you ask them, do you have a CCE mat? And 19 times out of 20, they do. Like base your mat around safety and health of your body and not the feeling that you get. Like I have the fiber built and I've been hitting it for like, five or six years and you can barely tell that I've hit a shot and I'm, I'm a bit of a digger. So it's amazing how well it's kept up. It doesn't feel like real golf. Like I get that. However, I have not injured myself. And and that's, you know, if you, if you, if you hurt yourself playing indoor golf, it's going to leave kind of a bad taste and you're not going to want to do it. Just trying to look out for the safety of all the indoor golfers out there. What a guy. He builds courses <laughs> for us that we all play and you're looking after us as well. That's, That's right. <laughs>